Hello and welcome back. So this is an update for my Project Pan Roulette. I am very excited for this update. I do have one empty, but also I've decided to spruce it up a little bit and replace a few other items just because I feel like things are stagnating a little bit. I will link my Project Pan playlist for you, so let's get into this update. All right, I'll show you the empty and then my progress on the items and the ones I'm removing. And then at the end, I will pick new items roulette style. So the empty, very exciting. I finished another perfume. This is the Burberry Brit Sheer. It's really nice, fruity. This is a good daytime scent. And yeah, it was really nice for summer, all used up. This was a, how many ounces in this? This is a one fluid ounce bottle. So yeah, I'm happy I finished another perfume. This is a nice one though. For the category, a hair care product, I have the Kendi Oil Dry Mist. I don't have a ton of progress. I haven't marked it yet, but I will. So that was the last update. So I'm just like a little bit below that. Not a lot, nothing amazing. Like I said, I really don't do much to my hair, but I have been trying. So I've at least gotten some use out of this. For the category, a bronzer, I have the Marc Jacobs bronzer and I did expand the pan. I'll show you a comparison photo. I'm pretty excited. I am so happy with how much progress I've made on this bronzer. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. For the category, a lip product, I have the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. And again, I have a little bit of progress. It's nothing amazing. That's where it is. That's where it was before. Progress is progress, but it's not a lot. I do still really want to finish this. This will be staying in the project. For the category, a ColourPop item, I had this highlighter palette and I've been working on this highlighter here upgrade. So I'll show you a comparison photo. I don't know if I made more of a dip. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I did use this quite a few times and I'm actually wearing it today combined with another highlighter. And I did film this makeup look. If you are interested, I will link that, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I've made that much progress. So what I will be doing is I will be taking this out. I'm glad that I got some use on it, but I just don't think I will be realistically hitting pan on this anytime soon. So again, I want to spruce things up. So I'm removing this. I've made really good progress on the Marc Jacobs bronzer. So I'm going to remove this also. And then the, the perfume is empty. So this is out. So I'm actually going to pick to, uh, three new items and I will be keeping in the lip liner and the hair oil. All right, I have 15 categories that I am working from. So I have my random number generator on my computer. I will be picking three. So for the first one, I got number three. Okay, let's see what that is. So number three is something that was in another project. Okay, cool. Let's go with that. Um, next we have Number 13, number 13 is hip pan on an eyeshadow. And I did that already, so I'm going to pick another one. Ooh, okay, I got number six, which is something you have mixed feelings on. Okay, that's pretty good. And one more, number nine. Number nine is nail polish. <laughs> Okay, so I have to go pick out the, those three items and I will be back. Okay, I picked out three new items. So the first one was something that was in another project. So I picked this face oil. This is by Botanics. This is the 100% organic with rosehip oil. I love this. This was in my drop 10 before summer, but I did not finish it, but there's just not that much left. So I did mark it there. Those were my other project marks from drop 10 before summer. There's not a lot left. I really need to just get this done. But in the summer, I mean, my skin has not been as dry. So, but yeah, there's a tiny bit left. This needs to go. The next category was something that you have mixed feelings on. And it's definitely this Stila glitter. So this is a smaller size. I got this in a trio with two others. This is called Tulip Twinkle. I did mark it right there. So as you can see, I have used a fair amount of this. And the reason I have mixed feelings is this is gorgeous color. As you can tell, it's like super pink and metallic. But when you put it on the eyes, it looks a bit darker than this. So when I put it with a lighter pink look, it just looks weird. It only looks good if you have a darker eyeshadow on underneath. So it's like the color in it is really, really opaque. So it's not as much glitter. It's more of a metallic, whatever. Hopefully you get it. I like it, but 
out of the Stila glitters I have. This is my least favorite, so I do want to get it used up. And the last category was a nail polish. I have not finished any nail polish this year, so it'd be nice to at least finish one. I hardly buy nail polish anymore, so it's not like a shopping problem for me, but I have a decent sized nail polish collection, so I went with this one. This is Sinful Colors Lie Lilac. It's a gorgeous color. It's so pretty, you know, light purple lilac. Um, I did mark it right there. So yeah, hmm, wish me luck. I only paint my nails once a week max, if that at all. And I do have a good amount of colors. I like to rotate through them. Today I'm wearing yellow. This is Kale Polish Celine, if anyone's interested. I really like this. So anyway, I really like this color. Hopefully I can get it used up. Alrighty, so that is this update for Project Pan Roulette. Check out my Project Pan playlist if you are interested. I am excited to be changing this thing, this up a little bit. I think it's sometimes good to just spruce up a project pan, otherwise I get like bored and unmotivated. So I'm happy to have some new items to work on and thank you for watching.